Royal weddings require huge amounts of planning by experienced teams who know how to get everything just right. But, that doesn't mean that things never go wrong. As Prince Harry and Meghan plan their nuptials, they may want to take note of certain pitfalls that have befallen royals before them. From a bride who vomited to saying the wrong vows, here are some of the biggest royal wedding fails in history. Sleepy Prince William Apparently, Prince William only managed to get half an hour of sleep before he married Kate. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge were photobombed as they shared their famous balcony kiss. Their little bridesmaid, Lady Louise, daughter of Prince Edward and Sophie Countess of Wessex, didn't look too impressed by the whole affair and stood scowling with her hands on her ears for the photos. Prince Charles got his vows wrong. When Charles married Diana in 1981, the prince accidentally said he would give Diana thy goods instead of his worldly goods. But Diana said the wrong name. However, Charles Gaff proved nothing compared to a slip-up made by Diana. Instead of referring to her husband to be as Charles Philip as Philip Charles. Diana's dress was wrinkled. Diana's gown, in true puffy, 80s style, became seriously rumpled during her carriage ride to street. Paul's Cathedral. The Queen's tiara broke. Queen Elizabeth II had a tiara-related nightmare before marrying Prince Philip in 1947. She had been gifted the Queen Mary's French tiara for the special day but it is claimed that her hairdresser broke it. Thankfully, the royal jeweler House of Garrard managed to fix the important headpiece and send it back in time for the wedding. Princess Natalie of Denmark forgot her flowers. Princess Natalie Zusane Wittgenstein Berleberg of Denmark managed to forget her bouquet on her big day. The princess has to wait nearly 10 minutes for the forgotten blooms to arrive, before she walked down the aisle to marry German horse breeder Alexander Johansman. Marie Antoinette's wedding dress was too small. Apparently, Marie Antoinette's gown was so ill-fitting that a broad strip of lacing and her chemise could be seen from behind. King George IV was drunk. Apparently, King George IV was so drunk at his wedding to his wife-to-be, and cousin, Caroline, that he needed to be propped up. To make matters worse, it is said that he burst into tears when no objections were made to the wedding, and his bride couldn't walk in her dress. To make matters worse, Princess Caroline couldn't even walk or stand up properly in her wedding dress. Apparently, it was just too heavy. Augusta of Saxe-Gotha puked on her new mother-in-law. As far as fails go, this one is pretty extreme. Reports say that Princess Augusta of Saxe-Gotha ended up vomiting all over her wedding dress and her mother-in-law, as she walked down the aisle to marry Frederick Prince of Wales. Alfred the Great suffered great pain. According to the history books, Alfred the Great, the King of Wessex, was struck by a sudden severe pain that was quite unknown to as physicians, as he married his wife Elizabeth in 868 AD. It is now thought that Alfred may have had Crohn's disease which may have been behind his pain. Thank you for watching.